Hi, welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Josh and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2013 Peugeot 4008. Now starting at the front, I am going to walk you through the beautiful condition of this car, but also some of the features and the overall uh, condition as well. At the front end you can see you do get a big bold bubbly front end with that chrome surround for the front grille and the black insert it does look incredible. Now the thing I love about Peugeot is their attention to detail so they've even got the Peugeot badging just inside that grille and the actual Peugeot line just on top of the bonnet so it keeps the whole front end nice and clean. Now in terms of overall condition at that front end it does present really well. There are one or two very slight stone chips which we have gone through the effort of touching up for you but nothing really too concerning. Do you get nice bold headlights here as well and the chrome surround for uh, for that little vent there as well. Down the bottom you've got also got the fog lights fitted into that plastic um, lower bar. Now if we keep making our way along to the first alloy wheel beautiful condition on that wheel itself so that is actually completely unmarked and it's a brand new tyre as well on the front there. Now paintwork along this side does present really well for its age this car has been looked after so well and even though it is wet and I do apologise for that it is in great condition so I'm actually struggling to fault this. The side mirrors and door handles are colour matched with the indicator built into the side mirror there. We've also got the chrome accent down the bottom of the door once again just to break it up, make it a little bit more elegant. Now you do get keyless entry, which means when you press the lock button on the door, it does fold your mirrors in and it also locks the car. Your windows have been very slightly tinted for you as well. Now taking a look on the inside of the vehicle, you can see the leather seats do get uh, in a really good condition. So the bolsters are in, uh, very, very firm and you've also got pretty much no marks along the doors and the door trims. So very well looked after. That next alloy wheel, once again, that one is uh, has a couple of very, very slight superficial marks there. You've got to look pretty hard to actually be able to spot them, uh, but nothing really too concerning. Brand new tires on the back there as well. Now, making our way along to the back of the vehicle, you have got a high-mounted stoplight and your rear wiper. You've got the Peugeot badging on the back, and once again, it's got a very bubbly look to the back end. You've also got your reverse parking sensors and camera to help you when you are parking. Opening up that tailgate, we'll take a look on the inside now. You've got the parcel shelf to keep everything in the back nice and private. You've also got a genuine set of mats in there and when you lift this up, you've got your spare wheel plus your jack and tools just under there as well. Closing this up, we'll keep making our way once again along to the passenger side. The fuel filler cap is on the passenger side being the safe side. That next wheel is also almost unmarked. There are, once again, just a couple of very, very slight scarves, but nothing too major at all. Brand new tyres all the way around this vehicle, and the paintwork, if we keep making our way down, does present really well, so it has been beautifully looked after by the previous owners. That next wheel, again, is completely unmarked, and the uh, tyre is brand new. So, as you can see, guys, four brand new tyres, a set of wheels that are in awesome condition, and for a 2013 model, the paintwork presents beautifully. So, I would highly recommend you ask us about the Glasgow, because that is going to give you an added warranty on your paintwork. What we're going to do now though is pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. Taking a look under the bonnet now, what we have is a four cylinder two litre petrol engine with a six speed automatic gearbox. Now the number of airbags in this vehicle is seven, which is awesome to know, especially when you are going to be carrying your family in the car. Now, power output from the engine is 110 kilowatts with a torque rating of 197 newton meters. The petrol fuel tank holds 63 liters and you can run it on your standard 91, giving you a combined fuel consumption of about 7.9 liters per 100 and an average fuel distance of about 797 kilometers from a full tank, depending on your driving style. Guys, taking a look inside the Peugeot now, on the driver's side door, you do get all your power window controls. Front driver's side is automatic up and down. Above that, you've got your central locking button, your window lock, and the toggle for your power mirrors. Now, on the right-hand side here, you've also got the toggle for your uh, headlights. You can actually just change the angle of your headlights if you want. You've also got stability control, parking sonars, and a blank button. On the right-hand stalk, you've got your indicators, your fog light controls, and your automatic headlights. So if you leave it in auto, the car will just decide when it needs to use them. On the left hand side here you've got all your washer and wiper controls. Once again the wipers are rain sensing so just leave it in auto, the car will decide for itself. Behind the wheel you've got your paddle shifters. Right hand side here you've got cruise control, left hand side you've got media and just under here you've got your hands free call functions. Heading on into the center display or the center you have got all your 
uh, hard buttons for the radio there, AM and FM radio, plus your hands-free. And if we pan up to the mirror quicker, I will just show you. When you put it in reverse, the um, reverse camera actually comes up in that mirror if you can actually see it from that angle. Now the shifter, you can drive as a standard auto or if you bump it to the right, you can switch through the gears manually with the shifter or the paddles behind the wheel. You've got a hard handbrake here, two cup holders and next to each of the front seats you have actually got your heated seat controls as well. That center console when you open it up in here is your USB port and your AUX so that AUX is actually the red and white cable uh, and a 12 volt socket. Now we quickly pan around the interior you will notice that the whole inside of this car is actually in awesome condition so very very well looked after leathers in great condition and even the roof lining uh, is also very very well maintained thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the walk around video of this beautiful Peugeot as you can see it has been very very well looked after now a couple things we are going to talk to you about is the glass coat which will give you an additional warranty on the paintwork you get awesome coverage and it will protect you against many of Australia's harsh weather climates and conditions the other thing I would highly recommend is ask us about the premium mechanical protection plan with up to five years and 200,000 kilometers worth of cover on 181 electrical and mechanical components it is a great way to protect your vehicle but it doesn't actually stop there you've also got 10 years of platinum roadside assistance in that plan it is Great way to know that wherever you go, your vehicle is covered and it will be running and we're going to cover you up to $3,600 per claim as well. Now, there are additional costs. However, if you are using our in-house finance, Julie or Mario, our business managers, would love to talk to you about your finance options. They are also going to tailor a package to suit your needs, which will work in the car and those protective options and make all the payments work nice and easy for you. If you have any questions at all, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Josh and thank you so much for watching.